Hi, a while back I saw this video on pixabay.com. Can you see there is somebody who is shouting on the megaphone? The word feedback is coming from inside megaphone. Now I just wished if it is possible for us to create the same effect in PowerPoint so I can replace this feedback word with any other word of my choice which I can use anywhere to create say a video ad or to place it on my last slide. I can use it in n number of ways. So that is why I created this megaphone animation and let us say I want to showcase that we have a 50% off. I can use it like this and all this is available for me with complete customization. You can see I can bring this to the front and I can change this text to any other text and I can have it move in any direction I want. Now I have complete control over this animation. Now I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful and dramatic megaphone animation in PowerPoint. But before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. Let us go to pixabay.com and search for megaphone. I want a vector and not a video. So let us go here and change this to vector graphics and search for the various options available. I want to choose this. Of course, you can choose any of the other options that all look pretty nice. Let us select that and then go to free download, go to vector graphic. You can choose PNG image as well. It doesn't really matter. Let us choose vector graphic. So we have the option to color it the way we want. Then let us go to show in folder, right click and then copy this bullhorn image and then go to our slide and then paste it. Right click, go to convert to shape. Now I can edit it the way I want. I can select everything and then choose say a red color. Everything is completely up to me. Now I'm going to keep it just the way it is. Let us press control G to group it and then let us resize it and place it to one side like so. Now it is time for us to go to the second step where we write a word and then let it grow and go across the slide slowly. Let us choose a word. Let us go to home, go to text box tool and say, I'm going to announce a sale. Let us choose a thicker font for this. Maybe I can have Amasis or Arial Black. It doesn't really matter. You can have it considerably of a big size like this, but it needs to be smaller than this megaphone. Maybe I can increase it a bit more and I can have it like this. Now that looks good. Then. To just show you, I'm going to change the color to something that is visible, like say this color. Now I'm going to have this move across. For that, let us go to animations, go to animation styles, and then let us go to motion path and let us choose custom path. Now I'm going to click on the center point here and then click again, click again. Now what I'm doing is I am drawing a path for the sale word to go across. Once I finished it, I double clicked and this, as you can see here is ending here. It needs to end somewhere outside. So that is the path. Now, if you want this to be smoother, you can right click on this, go to edit points and then you can right click and have it smooth. So that way the movement is really interesting and I'm going to choose all the path to be smooth and everything. Now, once you are happy with that, the next thing we are going to do is to make it grow. So let us select this word, add animation. Then go to grow shrink animation and you can see that that is the way it grows to 150% by default. That is exactly what we want and it grows in two seconds. Once again, that is perfect. All we need to do is to say with previous. Now I'm going to select this right click and send it to back. Now when I go to slideshow, you can see that the word is coming out and it's really going fast. So let us go to the first one and change this to say around eight seconds and hit enter. Now the movement is very slow and deliberate. When I go to slideshow, you can see that the word slowly emerges, grows, and then it moves across like this. Now, of course, I need to make sure that this traverses across to this area and then it comes out. Otherwise, it shows as if it is emerging from the megaphone sites. We don't want that. So how do I change the path? I can right click, go to edit points, and I can have this over here. I can right click on this point and say delete point. You have total control over how you want the animation to be. When I go to slideshow on a click, you can see that the path is changed. Now it is moving across the way we want. Now, once you are happy with one animation, 
you can of course make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and then change this to a different color maybe in this case i want to have this like say uh, this kind of a blue color and then i'm going to change the path so i select this and then move it across like this all i need to do is just that and nothing else and i'm going to place this right behind so let us select this one here and then move it down so it aligns with the previous one everything is perfect now let us go to slideshow on a click you can see that both the words are emerging and we have this nice little announcement going you can have as many copies of the word as you want you can change the path the way you want it and you can have the whole thing occupying different areas here to the right and the announcement can be made in a dramatic fashion to help you master PowerPoint in every way possible, we have this program called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is a 34 product bundle, which teaches you everything there is to know about PowerPoint. You can click on the link and check out more details about this massive program. If you liked this video, then you will really like this hanging letters animation in PowerPoint, which I created on YouTube a while back. I will leave a link to this useful and interesting animation effect in the description box below this video. You can also find a link to this video right here on your screen right now. You can click on the link, go to that video directly and enjoy learning that animation. It's an interesting one to impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video.